In any case, the next thing to do is to get the valve train apart. The valve train is made up of all the parts that are associated with the opening and closing of the valves. The valve train controls the mechanical timing of these events. The camshaft, lifters, push rods, rocker arms, valve springs, and the valves themselves all make up the valve train. To take all this apart, we start with the rocker arm nuts. Some engines have rocker shafts that the rocker arms are mounted to. The entire shaft is usually unbolted and lifted off as one piece. There's one extremely important tip to know before you ever pull apart any pieces of the valve train. When the valve train is taken apart, everything has to be organized so that during reassembly, the parts will go back into the exact same positions that they came from. Otherwise, excessive wear will happen if the parts aren't matched back to their original placements and paired with their companion parts. However, this only applies to parts that are gonna be reused. If you get new components, they can be mismatched. Goodson Tools has a great valve train organizer tray that'll keep all the loose parts in the right order. As the rocker arms come off, make sure the pivot ball that's under the rocker nut stays with its respective rocker arm. It was an easy decision that the rockers on the marine engine would need to be cleaned in a hot tank at the machine shop, so they all went on to a wire hanger to keep them in the same order for when it comes time to put it all back together. If you put a washer or some other kind of metal label on one end of the strand, you'll know which rockers are supposed to go back on the forward or rear part of each cylinder head. As the push rods come out, you need to make sure the upper end stays in the up position. If these go back in upside down or get mixed up, they're going to wear out a lot quicker. When it comes time for lifters, Craftsman makes a nice pick set that makes pulling clean lifters out a lot easier. You could also use a small flathead screwdriver. On the marine engine, we had to do a little surgery. Considering that most rebuilds require replacement of the lifters and camshaft, all the lifters that, that we could find on this motor went in the trash. If any or all of your lifters are gummed up really bad with dirty oil and don't want to come out, just leave them in the stuck position and we'll remove them from the bottom after the cam is out of the way. The ones that do come out should go right into some kind of organizer tray if you think they might be reusable. Later, we'll